Hello, magnificent guests. I understand that you have unique project, as sometimes the functionality that NGX permissions library is providing can be not enough for your use case. That's why I want to show you how you can extend the functionality by extending NGX permissions guard. So let's see our use case. We will have component, and this component want to be protected by our custom guard. And if the user doesn't have this always permissions, he will redirect to denied page. If user doesn't have not found permission, he will redirect to not found page. So first what we do, we actually protect this guard with our custom guard. We'll name it custom guard. After this, we need to generate it. So I will use ID and we will name it custom. And we will use can activate. We need to import our guard. In custom guard, first what we will do, we will import our nginx permissions guard. Right, nginx permissions guard. And we need also a router to make the navigations. In can activate, uh, we need to adjust the uh, our API to the API of NGX permissions guard. So first, what we'll do is we will get the data. So we will say const always data, and we will take root data permissions, and we will access always. So what we are doing, we take this data. And the second one is not found. So we will just copy and say not found. Now let's adjust API, our API to the API of Nginx permissions library. So we will say const always request data. We will type type any, it will be an object. And we will use our root because uh, th there is a lot of parameters. We cannot just pass uh, the data. And we will um, uh, reassign our data permissions. And we will say, because it takes only an accept, because it has its own like API, we will say this is always data. And we will do the same for not found data. So we will say not found request data. And here we will pass not found. We have the API. Now we will make a request. We will have two requests. Const, we will say always guard. That will be equal to NGX permissions guard can activate and here we will pass our always da request data and the state. We don't need to change the state anything, so it will be like we're taking this root state snapshot and passing. And we know that it will be as promised boolean because uh, NGX permissions guard will return promise true or false. And we'll do the same to not found guard, not found guard. And we will pass not found request data. Now we have everything. We will chain uh, our guards. First, we will chain our always guard. And we will say, if there is no data, in this case, if the data is false, we want to, our router to navigate to denied page. Navigate to denied. If it's a uh, true value, what we want to do is make a not found uh, guard check. And here is important. Uh, because we cannot return f just false, because it will just pass to this not found guard. What we need to do, we need to reject the promise. So it will not execute this not found guard. 
And in not found guard, we will also have data. And if there is no data, we will navigate to not found page. And we need to return this data. Here we don't need to reject because there is no chain in below. And we have our guard. What we need to do is to test it. We will navigate to our app routing module because we need to activate to load the guard before our custom guard is executed. I've already created OS guard. And in OS guard, we will need to add our Nginx permission service to load permissions. So I will say this Nginx permission service, load permissions. And first, we will take always permission that is available and it should navigate to our not found page so let's check we need to navigate to our about page as you can see it redirected to not found so it works correctly and now uh, if we don't have like always permission we remove everything when we navigate it should redirect to our denied page and as you can see it's working that's it it would be nice if you give yourself some presents after all the hard work that you are doing have a great day bye